It's rodeo time, and today we're going to see some bullfighting action at the Flying W Ranch with Cody Webster. Go with me to Oklahoma, old son. You ready, Ranch Kitty? Rodeo time. Got to get her on down the road. Welcome to Rodeo Time 102. Well, hello, Ranch Kitty. How are you today? That just reminded me. Low adhesive tape. They had a batch of tape and they messed up on it. How can we charge more for this? It takes less to make. It's cheaper for us, but we're going to charge more for it. Painter's tape. It's weird. You know what that is a lesson for? Optimism. Glass half full. When something happens in life, what good can we get from this? Typically somebody, anybody else, whoever the entrepreneur is that came up with low adhesion tape, they, they are an optimistic person because if they would have been pessimistic, they would have just thrown it out, they would have counted a loss, on to the next one, and uh, probably would have failed. Then all of a sudden they wear, wind up working at Denny's. And hey, there's nothing wrong with working at Denny's because when they get that is an opportunity for that person to become re-optimisticified that's a term I'm going to be using in my, my speech tour. Re-optimistified, and uh, then they, they start from Denny's and they grow back to... Um, and their, their last name was Duct, so then they come up with duct tape, which makes more than 3M low adhesion tape. You see how that work, that system works? But it all revolves around the basic fundamental, fundamental, fundamental principle of... Um, optimism and I, I need to get all this worked out because I'm having a hard time but the point is today we're going to Wayne Oklahoma and we're gonna see Cody Webster fight some bulls and um, they're going to uh, fight him and he's gonna teach him and and I need to get my thoughts organized before I turn the camera on next time this is a new shotgun 90 live action coming right at you you just pull that over if you wanted to turn them to go in the bucket chute? Yeah, it just pins right here. Did WW Special make this for you? All the way, dude. One stop shop. See it in action. Bam! Dude, official. It's, it's official. It's they call it, they spelled school wrong. Oh, man. <laughs> Shucks. For me, when the shotgun starts, <clears throat> I like getting up here. You know, about right here, where they've got about two big strides to me. And within two, them, within them two big strides, you guys are gonna be able to read which way you need to throw your fake or which way you need to go right off the bat. And uh, with that being said, if something goes wrong and we're at this distance, it's just like if me and he's fighting. You know, if I'm right here and I punch it from right here, it's not gonna hurt as bad as me. Man. Yeah. Oh, God. Same way on this. If we, if they have that huge run and something goes wrong and they do hit you, it's gonna be full steam. So getting that second stride out, I think you're a lot better off. And, it, and I, especially on a like older smarter bull, uh -huh. being just two strides out is gonna give you the advantage because he ain't got time to think or play you. Alrighty. So, Kobe, does that answer your question? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you. That future. That future. That future. That future. <laughs> Going gets tough when we get tired, don't resort to something fancy. Resort back to that round. It's simplicity, it's simple. It's gonna let your legs regain. You can think about getting your breathing back, get control of your breath, and then finish your bullfight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Full school, man. Let's do it. <laughs> shaking like a tambourine. We in this finally. Both sides of the cemetery. Attention, people, y'all get ready. This is for everybody. Let me introduce to you that future hit.
should breathe Let me play another theme At the start, this one nothing but a dream Now it feels like victory About to live another fantasy Everybody clap with me We about to make history Come on, Attention people, y'all get ready This is for everybody Try to catch up we are here. Let me introduce to you. Try to catch up. We are here. That future hit. Are you ready? Do you believe in magic? Here it's autumn. Dude, I think everybody's doing great. Everybody's, everybody's stepping out. Everybody's wanting to try something a little different. Everybody's, man, y'all's, y'all's bullfighting is just, it's climbing. Every, every bull, not by the day, but by the bulls. You guys are climbing, man. Be proud of yourself. It's really, really good work. Uh, Braden, way to conquer your Braden, fears, man. Braden, yeah, way to conquer your fears, dude. Good job, man. That's what I'm talking about, babe. You got good there at the end, man. Yeah. It's just a matter of you believing in yourself, you know? And there, there's no one here that can do that for you. There's not one person here. It's got to be you. And you need to decide soon if this is really the path you want to take or if you don't, you know? Because half-heartedly, man, it's just gonna take one big bull, and he's gonna break you. Yes, sir. And it's gonna break bones. Okay. Yep. So it. it's not gonna get any more controlled. It's not gonna any get a, any more lower than this level right here. Okay. You got it. No. Cody Webster, uh, Bull School. They've now moved to Cowboy Protection where they're bucking bulls, and uh, they just don't happen to have any money added. So I'm not gonna get on. But uh, just helping these young guys out. That's what I'm doing. So. I also forgot my bull rope. Forgot it? Yep. We got, we got one. I don't like to borrow stuff. And your boots. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> bring your own flank. I forgot I'd... your boots too, though. Hey, yeah. why, don't you, why don't you bring your own added money? What good would that do? That doesn't even make no sense. <laughs> but it wouldn't matter because I ain't got my bull rope. Is that a right-handed flank? Is that a right-handed flank? Yeah, right See, I ride left-handed. <laughs> <The multi -handed. laughs> I ride left-handed flank. <laughs> I don't mind slick healing them. It's oh. more about the added money. Gotcha. Caleb, what bull are you getting hey. on today? Well, I'm not sure what right bull it is, but it's a bull. Yeah, it don't matter, does it? Nope. Not today. Where are you going next? Uh, Helotus. Texas this weekend. Uh, nice. JD next bull rush. <laughs> what kind of confidence level do you have getting on with all these bullfighters here? Feel good um, about it? This level of bullfighters, I, I ain't really worried about nothing. I just get to focus on getting on and having fun. And then you got uh, the professional glove puller, Hart, back here. <laughs> I'm really good. Hey, I tell you what, he's pulled my glove at some big shit. Right? <laughs> <laughs> back when you were strapping cattle? Yeah, back on camera. Oh, oh, oh. Get, get that, that get that. Spur, spurring in the well. Yes, yeah. sir. Set yeah. your feet in the rope. <laughs> you, yeah, set your set your rope way back on that one. Back in the truck. Back in the truck. That's what Randy always tells me. He like to jump up there once in a while. Good thing I'm real fat. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's a good soccer here. He looks like a bag of Reese's Pieces. So today's his day and he needs to work on getting better. It's the old time to shine. Step 
on you? you no, know, I thought he did. The bullfighter did. <laughs> <laughs> that cleat get you? Yeah, got him pretty good. Bull number three, you only got like eight left. Yeah, only eight. Only eight. <laughs> <laughs> on to the next one. If only there was another like legendary bull rider here to help buck these bulls. That would get on. Yeah, if only. Yeah. I just forgot my rope. And there's nothing added. Anybody got any money? Yeah, five got, bucks got a couple for you. quarters. Yeah. We'll, we'll scrounge together ten bucks for you. <laughs> I'm out. How'd you feel, Kalen? A little bit better on that one. You want to see him when he had a bank? What was going through your mind? Ride. Ride, ride, ride. Ride, ride, ride. Okay. Hey. How many chicken nuggets you're going to order at McDonald's that night? Yeah, is my elbow still going to be attached when I get off? A little bit of everything going through my mind there. Everything. Watch that bull. Felt tonight. a lot better than other three, though. My name is Kobe Adams. I'm from Huntsville, Texas. I've been fighting bulls for about half a year and just loving the life, enjoying the sport. Bull school, it's been amazing. I've gained so much confidence. I mean, it's been the best thing for me. Um, I'm glad I made this de decision to come here. Cody and Harp and uh, Ray, they have helped me so much with everything. Uh, grabbed a great brotherhood. <laughs> <laughs> Great brotherhood right there. Oh, man, a cleat right to the junk. Right on the left one, too. That That's kind of what I want you guys leaving here is with the foundation to be able to be, you know, you go either direction, doesn't matter what the bull is. If the bull is hot and coming and running, you can throw fakes. If he's a bull that's kind of slower and a little smarter, you guys can go get it around to drag out bullfights. And uh, essentially, if y'all if y'all apply that to every bullfight, you're going to win a lot of money because you're versatile. So that's why we're doing so much different different stuff and really getting solid in the fundamentals. When you're solid in your fundamentals, the other stuff comes with it. It's definitely helped my confidence. It's, yes. it's helped y'all's con Yeah, it's going to do nothing but help you. You know, you got a lot of stock in your belt. Yes, sir. So. Stock we normally can't get around either, too. So that's yes. a big yeah. difference. Yeah. <laughs> Even a big brindle over there putting it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 The fundamentals, it's all about the fundamentals and he breaks it down to where anybody can learn it and taking those fundamentals and applying them to whatever it may be, cowboy protection or freestyle. Man, bull school is uh, something that I've been working towards. I started my first camp in 2013 and uh, I've been helping Frank Newsom since 2006, been on his camp. So it's something that uh, I've been doing ever since I was a little kid, but uh, nonetheless, man, here at here at the Bull School, you know, there's a there's kind of a science to what we got going on that's helping these young guys really break the ice and and become a better bullfighter. And uh, you know, you see it all over the place where whether the bull riders getting on two rank of stock, uh, young bullfighters getting in front of two rank of bulls, uh, it's the same outcome. They're broken, they're busted, and then they're done. Uh, uh, you got to get get the guys with the right bull power and uh, you know I really like to start with young young bulls something that's not real big when they hit you they don't break bones and overall match each student to what he needs if I've got a really hot young calf then I'll put a little bit more experienced bullfighter uh, that's in the class on that on that particular bull and the stuff that's really weak I'll, I'll let the beginners go with and then uh, everything in between but it's always letting the bullfighter have the upper hand and have a chance to win. Outside. <laughs>
I lost my phone over here somewhere. Safety and guidance, Lord, and we just thank you for blessing us today and just keeping this arena safe. Uh, you know, bumps and bruises are definitely part of it. We knew that when we signed up, Lord. And we just thank you for allowing these guys to, to give them power, to give them everything that they need to get through the day and, and uh, battling fears, battling them demons and, and believing in your word and, and believing in what they've been taught, Lord, and, and just bringing them through them them valleys, Lord. And we just thank you for everything that you do for us, Father. And uh, most of all, thanks to your son, Jesus, down on the cross for our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Guys, y'all uh, get you get you a shower, get cleaned up, and get everything right. Uh, kind of cool off and relax for a little bit. When I get back, we'll we'll go through film and uh, be ready to rock and roll. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good, Good job, guys. Thank you. Any questions? Mm. Anything? Play with your hat on. Do what? You need to get a haircut. I, you I'll need to get a haircut. I'll see it. You know what it is? It's just unprofessional. It says the guy that's got down to his shoulders. It's not that long. <laughs> Alright, guys. Good.